I am here today on behalf of SBHR McGill and the broader Arab and Palestinian student population at McGill who has been organizing and mobilizing for eight months as the Zionist regime perpetrates a genocide with impunity, a genocide which has killed 40,000 Palestinians with full backing from the Canadian and American governments and our universities, including McGill University. This press conference follows an announcement by the McGill administrators where they not only failed to present a concrete proposal to meet our demands materially, but also disclosed that they have sought legal action against the encampment. These intimidation and repression tactics are a distraction from the real reason why these students are here in the first place, and that is because there is an ongoing genocide that has killed 40,000 people. From the very first day of the encampment, student representatives have made it clear that they are willing to dismantle the encampment if our demands are met in a material and significant way. The McGill administration has chosen to escalate by seeking legal action against the encampment despite insisting that they are engaging in quote-unquote good faith conversation. It has become very clear now that the McGill administration is not only willing to compromise the student's safety, but is actively participating in our harm and silencing. This development follows the rejection of an earlier injunction by the court which recognized the protest as peaceful and confirmations from representatives from the SPVM that the activities within the encampment do not violate any laws. I want to make it very clear what we are asking for, and it is divestment, meaning that we are asking that the administration moves money from companies that are engaged in war crimes and production of arms and genocide to companies that are ethical. This is not an unreasonable demand, and yet the administration has taken unreasonable and escalatory steps to repress us. In fact, our administration would rather pay $700,000 to move a convocation rather than heed the demands of their students. And we will continue to pursue this divestment campaign, which has been ongoing for 20 years, until, the, until divestment and until liberation.